Hi, everybody. We are here for another card flip. I just got my new Moonology Oracle card deck. I had another uh, another Moonology. It's, it's the same deck, but it was the little small pocket size. And, uh, and it didn't come with a guidebook or anything like that. So I wanted to go ahead and get the full size with books so that I could kind of look it through and just see if there was anything in the meanings that I was not picking up on that the author meant for that particular card. So it's been kind of cool to just go through it myself and look at the book and just kind of see. Yeah, I was pretty much on par with most things. There were a couple of things that the meaning was not exactly how I was reading it. But again, that is all very um, circumstantial. For those of us like myself who uh, who read and interpret intuitively on the cards, we don't necessarily go by the book meaning. Um, I like to glance at the meanings of the cards just to see if what I'm picking up is what the card was designed to stand for. Um, but even in that case, nine out of 10 times, I'm going with what I'm picking up, not what the book says. But every now and again, a card will come up in whatever deck and I get a little stuck because I'm not really quite sure what meaning it's warning me to pull from it. Um, usually it's when I start getting multiple meanings to a card and I'm, I, it throws me, I'm still kind of new enough at this that my confidence gets a little shaken and that's normal. It happens to everybody. Even to those who've been doing it for a long time from what I've been told, they've all told me, you know, yeah, we all get shaky. We all lose confidence in what we're doing. So, um, you know, if you're a, a reader, if you're just learning, if you're starting out, just take it one step at a time, one card at a time. There are multitudes of ways of reading cards that, um, that you can read up on. Everybody has different ideas. Um, we'll see what happens. You just take it. A little at a time. And um, so today we're going to do the Moonology Oracle Cards. It's by Yasmin Bolin and the artwork by Nix Rowan. And here we go. Okay. North Mode. Step out of your comfort zone. South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. Blue Moon, believe in the impossible. Super Moon, emotions are running high. Mutable Moon, nothing is yet set in stone. And a Fixed Moon, hold your vision. And let's see. Cardinal Moon. Be bold and make the first move. Void, of course, Moon. Nothing will come of this situation. Waning Moon. What do you need to release? Waxing Moon. The energy is gaining momentum. Full Moon Eclipse. Conclusions are within reach. New Moon Eclipse. Expect powerful change. Full Moon in Pisces. Balance spirituality and practicality. New Moon in a full Moon in Aquarius. Show the world the real you. Full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches. 
full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Scorpio. It's time to release negativity. Full moon in Libra. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Virgo. In Virgo, you are good enough. Full moon in Leo. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Full moon in Taurus. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Aries. A fiery climax approaches. New moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Aquarius. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Capricorn. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. New moon in Scorpio. Work through your fears. New moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Virgo. A time to give rather than take. New moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success. New moon in Cancer. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Gemini. Communication is key. New moon in Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Aries. It's time to take action. Balsamic moon, a time for healing. Third quarter moon, adjustments are required. Disseminating moon, take time to breathe out. Full moon, surrender to the divine. Gibeous moon, you're very close to achieving your goal. First quarter moon, your commitment is being tested. Have faith in your dreams. That's the waxing crescent moon. New moon. A new start is coming. So. Okay, there everybody is. I hope that was okay for y'all. Um, like I said, uh, each reader reads differently. We... Um, some people memorize the cards right away, and uh, and so they go strictly by the book, so to speak. And that's okay if that's how they prefer to do it. Some of us, uh, like myself and several others, we tend to read cards intuitively. Um, we let the energy tell us the story of what the card is trying to say. Um, sometimes you back it up with what the book says because... That's what feels right in the moment, and sometimes you don't. Again, because that's what feels right in the moment. The whole point being, and this is a lesson that I've been learning for the past year, since I was year and a half, well, almost two years now, I guess, since I've been doing this, is to not stress out if there's something I don't know yet. Because there's a lot of stuff that I don't know yet, and I'm learning day by day. I just open myself up to it. I accept it. As it comes to me, um, I watch other readers when I can just to kind of learn how they might put cards together and the storyline that they're going to get from that series of cards, depending on the reading, what the question is, who they're reading on, um, it's all very subjective, and it can change from moment to moment. And today you might get answer A for a situation, <clears throat> and tomorrow you'll get answer B because the energy is shifted, and so therefore the outcome changes. That's part of our free will, I do believe, is when we make adjustments or um, 
decide to do something a little differently, it, it changes the energy because that's part of our free will of going in and, and making those changes to what we feel is best for us. Um, anyway, y'all have a great weekend and I will see everybody soon.